god i'm actually freezing right now i've just turned the um heating on <laughs> anyways day two of self-isolating i mean the past week i've been going into london for work um thursday and friday was just hectic as hell saturday was home all day went to the shop that's a whole other story and then now we're today it's mother's day and i thought i'll make some banana bread to bring up for my mum make a little coffee as well um and yeah my mum's really simple i think that's going to be a little brekkie in bed and i rarely make banana bread so this is like a nice little treat i'm gonna do a nice twist to it um and yeah and then afterwards i need to make my soup which i've been craving i literally all i want to do these days is just eat veg soup i just woke up guys it's 7 a.m right now so let's get started so i've just just put my husband's robe which is like extra large it keeps me so so warm um let's do a quick run through let's do a quick run through of all of our ingredients so we're gonna need I will link I will link the recipe that I'm using in the info box but um it does say flat just normal flour but I've only got self-raising flour I'm going to use some granulated sugar three ripe bananas baking soda vanilla extract butter one whole egg and one uh, egg yolk only sour cream and I'm going to chuck in some walnuts like chopped walnuts and chopped bounty um into the bread and i think that's just gonna make it so yummy as always no one wants to go out to the stove which doesn't surprise me i always do it When you just leave it overnight, it gets all crusty and hard. Of course, make sure to wash your hands. That is very important. I need to give the cats food, of course. They're just waiting. So this is their little eating area. Gosh, I always need to wash their bowl. Look at this mess that they make. Messy. This is completely messy. one he's so impatient when he gets impatient he gets really frustrated and starts attacking my other cat sky this one's chichi i don't really show them much hey stop it good boy Olu, you sit down now sky come on sky move to that side eat like that <laughs> I have to watch over them though because otherwise he'll eat her food because she doesn't eat much but he won't let her eat anyways let's get back to the banana bread there we go I do have one two cups let's just put that to the side then we need one cup of granulated sugar to side then we're going to need a quarter cup 
which I do have right here. So apparently you could use milk, but I'm gonna try it with sour cream because I'm oh but I like I said I'll link the recipe but apparently if you use um sour cream it just makes it a bit more moist. So we do have to use half a cup of unsalted butter which I don't have but I'm gonna skip out and put in the kosher salt and just put this butter. This is clover butter made with buttermilk. That's Luna really bringing the bell because she needs to pee. I feel like natural daylighting just makes just just blogs better. And lately, I, well, all day yesterday I was watching a bunch of films and then I was. watching a lot of friends just trying to like measure this butter right now <laughs> looks like ice cream just a reminder i'm gonna preheat the oven to 160 170 celsius degrees because i've got a fan oven so they're a bit stronger okay now i'm just gonna put this in the microwave so it can um, melt a bit i'm just finishing up um i just need to do the egg so one whole egg and then just an egg yolk banana bread for my birthday do you know what i'm gonna put in it chopped bounty and walnuts inside don't make that in my face I, you it, huh? no i didn't ruin it if it's good you're not eating any of it <laughs> it's really hard to like cook in this space so i'm just gonna have to like do this now we're gonna do our ripe bananas oh they are very ripe yes living for that <laughs> you're gonna piss her off on mother's day <laughs> mom was like stay upstairs and then she gets filming she's gonna come down i mean yeah i'm so excited oh, no. Oh, one thing I've been obsessed with is TikTok. I'm such a not TikTok person, but now I'm convinced I need to be now I'm convinced I need to become an expert at it. I can't dance to save my life. If my life depended on it, I'd die instantly. But we're gonna give it a go. You see, my sister's been doing some she's, she's a bit better than me, obviously, but I'm gonna I'm gonna practice. Yummy yummy yummy. Yummy yummy bun. So easy to like get scared and worried about like the future, like jobs and stuff. It's important to keep try and stay positive though. Obviously my mum has it's coming downstairs. Oh no travu man, no travu. Travi. My mum just elbow handshake me as if I have bacteria on me. Okay, this is the tray we're gonna be using. Wait. We're gonna put all our dry ingredients into one bowl. So our flour, our sugar, and put a teaspoon of um, baking soda. So now we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients up. We're gonna put our eggs. We're gonna put our sour cream in there. This is quite cold. Melted butter in. Then we can put our bashed bananas in. Of course, a little bit of vanilla extract essence whatever you have at home and we're gonna gradually add the flour mixture folding it rather than um completely mixed because you want to keep as much air as possible in there so satisfying it already smells amazing i'm just gonna take my walnuts from tesco i'm gonna chuck them in there Chuck 
that in. Maybe a little bit. My sister gave me the idea to put some bounty on the top. Anyways, this is what the bread is looking like. So we're gonna pop this in the oven for like 45, to, 45 minutes to an hour and we'll see how it goes. I'm a bit annoyed now. My camera stopped recording. Woman. Hey! Woman! Luna! And stick back the wallpaper. Me? Yeah. So yeah, because your dog uh, ripped it off the wall. And over there, and over there. Boo! She's like, shut up. This is what she does when you ask her what she's done. She kind of like shoves her face against you so you don't you stop talking. Luna, what did, did you rip the wallpaper off, Luna? Did you did you rip the wallpaper off? Story, a little story time. I did go off on my stories, but I'm just gonna tell you guys on here because I know not all of you follow me on Instagram. But we went to the shop yesterday with my sister to get eggs, coconut milk, vanilla extract, just some stuff we needed. Right? There was one pack of eggs, thirty eggs in a pack. We usually buy it for like three pounds. We always go there. The shop people have known us since I was like four. And I'm like, how much is it? And he goes, eight pounds. Eight pounds for a pack of 30 eggs. That's normally three pounds. And I told him that's so wrong. Like, why are you guys doing that? He's like, oh, it's the boss, it's the boss. So now I'm gonna try and report them because I'm not having it. I will report it. I think it's trip them um, to the trading standards standards agency. A lot of you DM'd me on Inst- <laughs> What on earth? Was that in your frame? No. <laughs> she put now it is. while you were talking and she She's like a cat. Not all dogs do that, you know. Gosh, she put her saliva on my face and now my face is itchy. You best not put that on my head. She knows not to do it on my face. And then, once I've bought it, my sister tells me he gets another pack from the back in the storage bit and puts it out. So making people think there's only one pack left. So either he's trying to like stop people from like bulk buying, but honestly, no, you can just tell them at the till like you only allow one. But I just think not only one, they're taking advantage of the whole situ situation, tripling prices, that is ridiculous. And a lot of you DM'd me and saying that like your local butcher is charging £60 a bag of lamb or something. My friend also told me that she, they bought like little amount of meat for so much. It's just crazy like what people are doing out here. Like instead of just being together, like supporting each other, they're just thinking about their business. And it's not like the government's not helping, right? The gov government is putting out money for um, the self-employed people people who have kind of lost their jobs they can claim up to 80 percent of their salary i think um if they're losing out in some way they're, they're, there's help out there and to be honest they're not losing out because a lot of their stuff are selling anyways they're just making the most out of the situation and i just lost so much respect for them people they've done some things that have annoyed me in the past but this was just too much eight pounds and i was complaining I was like, I normally pay three pounds for this. I always come here, blah blah. blah. And then he goes, Oh, I'll, I'll do it for seven pounds then. And my sister's like, What's one pound gonna do? <laughs> that was my life yesterday, which frustrated me a bit. <sighs> I feel like if I'm gonna vlog, this is what my vlogs are gonna be like. Just me on the couch all day watching films and baking. What else am I gonna do? And working out. Maybe I'll do like a workout with me video. Should I do that? Luna, bear. Did you, Luna? Luna bear, did you eat the wallpaper? Did you do, oh, did you eat the wall? Luna, did you, what did you do? What did you do, Luna? Look, she lifts up her lips when I tell her. <laughs> she, I'm gonna stop now, okay. I'm gonna stop, everyone's gonna think I tortured this child. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I just want this bread to be ready now. 
Oh, she just licked my lens. Lula Bear. No, Sky. Sky. Ah! Oh my god, I thought that was a bee. She saw it. She saw the bug. <laughs> Luna, there's a fly. Luna. It's so weird. We were just saying that it's kind of like the sun's coming out, the air's fresher. It's like, it's like the oh gosh, it's like the the earth's telling us that it needs a break. Everyone needs to chill. The animals are coming out. I feel like it's really cool because we're so used to seeing some of the people with like barely any makeup on. For this video today though, what I'm gonna check the bread. <laughs> oh my god, see that just lifts out so easy. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. So bomb. I'm gonna make her the cafe au lait capsule. My coffee here, mum's coffee there. I think that is pretty perfect. Clearly have to do a little bit of a taste test. That is perfect. Oh my god. The banana and the walnuts and a bit of chocolate. Don't think I've had the chocolate yet, but I'm gonna serve everyone a piece and we're gonna go watch a film and I'll see you guys later when I make my soup. It's gonna be a bit like a late lunch kind of thing. Alright guys, I'm now back. We watched Invisible Man, which is crazy good. It's so internet tense and I've like jumped so many times from the film But right now I'm getting a bit hungry and I'm gonna make the um, Veggie Thai red curry soup that I've been so obsessed with lately. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make that I've already cut everything and prepared everything. So This should be pretty straightforward. Please mind the state of this pan. Okay? I feel like if you're in an Asian family you do you all have a, like worked up pot or pan in your cupboard that has been over like 20 years in the family i don't know but this is it basically okay i've cut a bowl of sweet potato in cubes like this then i have these mange beans um i've thinly grated some carrots and in there there's also um like chopped yellow and red bell pepper i'm gonna need this paste which is Key. I've tried like the dragon brand curry paste but I definitely prefer the Tesco one it's a little bit spicy but it's so so yummy put the fire down a bit this brand coconut milk is so nice it's very creamy and so worth it I've also cut two small onions and I've put a 500 ml of veg stock this is the one I think we get. I think it's from Lidl. Okay, let's put the fire back. Sweet potato. Take the longest to kind of like soften. I'm just gonna let this like cook for like 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, and also you're gonna need some of uh, this pak choy or bok choy, I don't know. But this stuff's amazing in soups. It gets like this chewy, leafy texture. It's amazing. It tastes amazing. And I, I literally am going to put this whole pack in there. Alright guys, the sweet potato has browned up a little bit now. I'm going to chuck in the rest of the veggies in here. Maybe not like I did it. And we're going to let this fry for like another five minutes. Alright guys, I've chucked in the chopped uh, onion and a bit of garlic and ginger paste and we're gonna give this a little stir too normally i like to put like aubergines in here courgettes for sure i think that's all i've added so far right, you need to add some soy sauce in here so i'm gonna do like a few kind of like droplets now fish oil is actually very strong and smells nasty but it adds some sort of flavor so i put literally a little drop in this of this in my soup Maybe like that, that's it. And then finally I like to add some sesame oil, just a drop of this. 
Okay, so now we're going to take some of our paste. I'm going to put like two big spoons of this. Just put in there. And you just want to like cover the veggies with this um, paste and let it cook for like a couple minutes before we're going to put our liquids in. Look how creamy this coconut milk is. It's like pure white goodness. A lot of coconut milks like separate and it go funny. But this is nice, thick just pure coconut milk goodness and then i'm also gonna drop in the veggie stock in here and then you just want to give this a good stir and let it simmer for i would say 30 minutes this is what the soup's looking like now and i'm gonna put in the pack choy to let boil a bit the quality so nice so do it nice no, I, mean, I know, I thought it was cancer at first But apparently when they're round and uniform They're not cancerous Can you guys see that mole? Okay, oh my god, that's so hot It's gonna put, set fire to this place Oh Do you think it's normal? You're frying an egg out from, away from the fire? All right, guys, this is my final soup. I've chucked in the prawns last minute. Um, and I did it separate because my mum's not eating any, like, meat for, like, um, Lent. She gave up meat and any animal-type foods. To be honest, I don't really eat meat that much anymore. It's, like, once or twice a week. So I mostly eat fish, veg, and, like, prawns and stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to go enjoy my soup and watch a film. Might watch a bit of Friends. I'm boiling. I've just been non-stop since 7 a.m. Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday morning. I took, made the effort to get dressed and... Wash my face and I need to put my moisturiser. I don't even know what accent that is. But anyways, I'm trying to keep the routine because it's so easy to just want to stay in your PJs all day. I've been so into like watching vlogs. These are the oats I'm going to use today. I've got semi-skimmed milk. I'm gonna have to buy one of these. I'm running out. Just do one sugar, not too much, because we're trying to get back into that diet. We have this uh, virgin water pure thing. It's amazing. It gets you cold filtered water or boiling water. We pay like twenty pounds a month for it, and we don't even need like bottled water or anything. We just have to change the filter in it. That's my coffee. Mmm. Voila, that's my brekkie break and I'm going to keep the other half for a snack later on. Oh my god, there's nothing better than a nice cup of coffee in the morning. Alright, I'm going to get back to work now. This porridge is bomb, like sweet cinnamon porridge. Best breakfast ever. I also got these to snack on through the day because I do like to snack and I get hungry quite often. So I've got these organic uh, rice cakes. Back in the kitchen, it's around 12.30. I feel like this vlog is just gonna be about food, but I'm just doing a quick lunch. So these are the ones I get. The tosta, put it in there for a bit. Get the light Philadelphia cheese. And this sandwich comes to like 200 calories. It's actually not bad. You guys evenly spread your spread mine has to be evenly spread like i can't have no unevenness which has always been like that so then i got a few things from pretty little thing um i definitely wanted some pjs like really lightweight pjs um, this one is so nice everything again was on sale so i had to grab some stuff this is a set then this is another cute one but this one's a t-shirt and shorts it's a little bit baggy how cute is that 
and then finally i got this kind of cold again loungewear kind of style with the leggings it says pretty little thing and i've got the same one in black all of this is going to go into the wash because i don't like putting stuff when it's come from the warehouse everything's going to wash do you wash your new clothes or do you put them straight on no shame guys no shame this is what i'm dealing with right now the tiniest pizza that ever exists in the whole entire world but i thought i would um order since it'll probably be the last time i order in a very long time i don't know um we just watched boris on the news and i it feels like a full lockdown you can get fined if you're out for the wrong reason it's not like the strictest policies out there like one exercise per day how do you know it's one i don't know but definitely stay at home guys and that's all i can say stay safe wash your hands and stay at home i'm gonna end this vlog if you guys want another one at home like this let me know in the comments below i didn't work out today but tomorrow i promise i will okay <laughs> anyways i love you guys lots thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye